Welcome to the Medtronic online training for the Minimed 640G insulin pump. Whether you've chosen pump therapy because of its convenience, the flexibility it provides, or to help improve your glucose control, your pump will be a valuable tool for your diabetes management. We want to thank you for choosing the Minimed insulin pump and look forward to getting you started. The courses you'll be taking are designed to help you feel comfortable with your pump and prepare you for in-person training with your healthcare professional or certified product trainer. You should find that it's quite easy to navigate through the courses, but if you need help at any time, just click the Resources button at the top of your screen and select Tour. There you can also find the System Care Guide for tips on how to care for your Minimed insulin pump. This course, Getting to Know Your Pump, will introduce you to the parts of the pump and how it delivers insulin to you. It'll also cover the basics for using the buttons on the front of the pump. Your pump is designed to give you very precise amounts of rapid-acting insulin to help cover your insulin needs. This is done with a delivery system that has three different parts. The reservoir, the pump itself, and the infusion set. First, let's look at the reservoir. The reservoir holds the insulin you'll use for the next two to three days and it fits inside the reservoir compartment of the pump. The pump is the core of the delivery system. The pump can deliver insulin in very precise amounts, as small as 0.025 units. The infusion set is the tubing connecting the pump to your body. There are several different kinds of infusion sets, but they all work the same way. In this example, we're showing the quick set. One end of the infusion set connects to the reservoir. And on the other end is the insertion site section. This end uses a very small insertion needle to guide a tiny tube called a cannula into your body. After it's inserted, the needle is removed, leaving just the flexible cannula behind. Just so you know, some infusion sets do not use a cannula, but have a small needle that remains inserted in the body. You'll use the attached adhesive pad to hold the insertion site section in place. Controlled by a mini computer, the pump uses a piston at the bottom of the reservoir compartment to deliver insulin. The piston carefully pushes insulin from the reservoir into the tubing and then into your body. You'll change the reservoir and infusion set every two to three days. The piston will need to be rewound before a new reservoir can be placed into the pump. Now let's take a closer look at your pump. Roll the mouse over the circles shown here to learn more. When you're finished, click Next to continue. You've reached the end of the Getting to Know Your Pump course. You should now understand more about how the pump delivers insulin and what each of the pump buttons are for. You're now ready to insert the battery and get started. The Starting Your Pump course will show you how. If you have additional questions, please consult your user guide or speak to your healthcare professional. For a certificate of completion, Click here.